And it's time for one of the biggest races in H-Town. The Houston Half Marathon and 10K will take place this Sunday, and runners have their eyes set on the forecast for Sunday morning. Hoping that the weather does not act as another obstacle, let's get to our Houston Half Marathon forecast. So as we are going to be Hitting the starting line and lacing up our shoes. 7 a.m. temperature of 72 degrees by 10 o'clock, warming up to around 76. And by noon, 79, pushing 80 later on that day. Wind speeds will be out of the southeast, 8, 10, and 11 miles per hour as the race progresses. But I think the only part that runners wish would go away is that humidity. Going to be very <laughs> humid from start to finish. Prepare to break a sweat, start hydrating before the weekend even starts, right? That is right. Now, this is not sunny in 75, but for this time of year, it could be worse, right? That's true. It could be raining and 40 degrees, uh, so you just <laughs> which, never know. Yeah, which will be happening just a couple days <laughs> later true. down the road for Halloween. But I have Bob here, a part of Houston Striders. So am I correct? This is the first time y'all have ever sold out the races? That is correct. Yeah, we sold out our 10K last month and our half marathon just a few days ago. So how many runners are going to be expected for this? About 7,500 runners, 2,000 10K runners and 5,500 half marathoners. And y'all are both a part of Houston Striders, correct? Yes. What is Houston Striders' partnership with the Houston Half Marathon? Do you want to take it? No, you can quit. Okay. Um, yeah. We are actually the organizing group who do it. So it, it's our race. We, mm -hmm. it, it's a race put on by runners for runners. And um, we, we just make sure that all the runners who do it are, are very happy with their experience following it, too. And why do you believe that the running crowd is growing, not just here in Houston, but I think across the country, I'm seeing more and more people yeah. gather together and lacing up their mm -hmm. shoes. Yeah, I think, you know, when we came out of COVID, a lot of mm -hmm. people were kind of stuck in their houses and people just want something to do now. They want to get out. They want to enjoy, you know, enjoy Houston, see parts of Houston that they haven't had an opportunity to see. And the, the mm -hmm. great thing about running a half marathon or even a 10K, you actually get to see the city. You know, we're stuck in our cars on the same freeways going to and from work. And now you get the opportunity to actually see the community, see, see Houston. And mm -hmm. speaking of our freeways, y'all be running along Allen Parkway, correct? Correct. So what are some other roads? ways uh, some intersections that you have to expect a little bit more foot traffic on this weekend well it'll mainly be on Sunday morning um, when it's nice and hot and humid but it'll be m mainly along Allen Parkway as you said a little bit on Memorial and some downtown so it really won't affect Houston traffic at large unless you happen to live along those venues Perfect. And if you want to volunteer, oh. it's sold out, but you can still go out and help, correct? You can definitely come out and help. Any race, especially a big race such as ours, we, we feed off volunteers. We need volunteers. You can still volunteer um, just by going to our website, which is HoustonHalf.com. Perfect. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. I too will you be partaking this yes, weekend i just said it out loud oh man now i got <laughs> have mar have marathon. That's, a, that's a long time and it wasn't real counts. it wasn't real until just now i have all of y'all witness i just said it so best of luck to me out there now adam that's right no take backs just said it on live tv it's happening for sure uh,